Hello friends, how are you? This is Sam Matthews again from Art Across Borders and I'm here to do a Sugar Skull or Day of the Dead face paint with you today. So Day of the Dead is a tradition that is celebrated in Mexican and South American culture where they celebrate loved ones who have passed away by decorating themselves and wearing really fun clothes and having parades and um, just loving life and celebrating their afterlife. So we are going to do half a face paint today instead of a whole face. And I think it looks really fun to kind of do half and half. So make sure you have your paint brushes, make sure you have a pretty wide brush, a round brush, and a really tiny one if you have one. Get a cup of water and I'm gonna use my Smazaroo paints again and have a paper towel and a mirror if you need one if you're doing it on yourself. Okay, let's get started. So like I said, I'm gonna do half my face. If you have a sponge for this, that works too. I'm just gonna use my paintbrush and I'm going to section off half of my face with white. When you're painting with white, make sure you paint in little X's and make sure there's not too much paint on your, or sorry, too much water on your brush or else it won't sit very flat. It'll look very translucent or kind of clear. I'm gonna leave a circle around my eye because I'm gonna paint that a different color. Scooch my headband back a little bit. Okay, when your white is done, you wanna let it dry for a little bit before you go on to any other colors. Otherwise, they'll blend together and not be as vibrant. So we'll be right back and we're gonna let this dry for a sec. Okay, so it's dry, so welcome back. And now we're gonna paint the inside of my eye. Now you can do this any color. You could do it black if you want to. You can do a mixture of colors. I think I'm gonna do like a greenish teal color because I have that in my hair, in my shirt. Oh, maybe I'll do pink. Mm. I think I'm gonna do teal and then like pink accents to match this. But again, you can do whatever color you want. So I'm gonna mix up some blue and some green and paint the inside of my eye area. I'm gonna paint over my eyebrow. If your brush is too big, like mine looks like it is, switch to a smaller brush. You also can use like makeup to help set this if you have like a powder that's a similar color. This is a fun area to kind of like blend and practice your blending. You can do one color kind of in the middle or in the corner of your eye and then blend it out to another color. Now I'm gonna do some pink, kind of like petal shapes around my eye. Um, and that's gonna add like another layer of this design. So again, take your round brush and you're just gonna do like little half circles or I can just even do like a mark with my brush, just like straight up. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my little brush and start to do some black details on the other parts of the white before I go in and do any lining on those because they're wet. So get your tiny brush, get your black. A helpful tip for keeping the paint on the tip of your brush is to actually like roll it. If you kind of take it and twist it into the paint, it'll help push the paint onto the tip of your brush. So I'm gonna start with the top of my face here. I'm gonna kind of do some long teardrop shapes that are upside down. This is kind of the fun part. You can play with this however you want. You can paint a spider web. You can do whatever kind of designs you want, but this is what I'm gonna do. Now 
These are kind of meant to look like skulls, so you can kind of imitate certain skull lines, like a jawline can be a swirl, or you can add another kind of marking, and it's meant to kind of imitate what a skull would look like. Okay, I think that the spots around my eyes are dry. So now I'm gonna carefully outline the circle and then do the petals as well. Okay, friends, what do you think? I hope yours looks really fun like this too. I hope you added your own little creativity to it, your own colors. Feel free to add any other colors kind of in these areas as well too if you want, um, but really have fun with it. Make sure to tag me in any pictures that you take of your finished creation on yourself or on someone else and tag Art Across Borders on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much, friends. Have a great day.